Suppose we have a set X containing three fruits, a watermelon, an apple, and a banana. How many subsets can we obtain from this set? Let us list four possible subsets and label them A to D. Subset A has zero elements. As this is an empty set, it is a subset of every set. Subset B has one element. Such sets are called singleton sets. Subset C has two elements and subset D has all three elements. In mathematics, subsets of a set are broadly classified into two types, proper subsets and improper subsets. Let's look at what proper subset means. If every element of a subset is also in a superset X and there is at least one element of X that is not in the subset, then the subset is a proper subset of X. In other words, if the subset contains some but not all the elements of the superset, then it is a proper subset. Going back to the example, we see that subsets A to C satisfy this condition. Each subset contains some but not all the elements of X. So each one is a proper subset of X. How can we denote a proper subset? We use this symbol to denote a proper subset. Hence, to show that A is a proper subset of X, we simply write this expression. What if the subset contains all the elements of the superset? You guessed it! We then have the improper subset. If every element of a subset is also in superset X and all elements of X are in the subset, then the subset is an improper subset of X. In other words, an improper subset contains all the elements of the superset. Here, since subset D contains all the elements of set X, it is an improper subset of X. Let us look at another example. We will write down all the subset of set A. First, we find the proper subsets. We just learnt that proper subsets contain some, but not all, the elements of the superset. Hence, set A has two types of proper subsets, those with zero elements and those with one element. The set containing zero elements is simply the empty set, denoted by phi. Since there are two elements in set A, there will be two subsets with one element each. The first one contains Karachi, the other contains Lahore. Next, we find the improper subset, which contains all the elements of the superset. Therefore, there is only one such subset which contains all two elements. We shall do a quick exercise. Sets R and S are subsets of set B. Determine which is a proper subset and which is an improper subset. Take a moment to think and discuss. Let's review. Observe that set R contains all the elements of set B. Although they are arranged differently, there is no element in P that is missing in R. Therefore, it is an improper subset of P. On the other hand, set S contains some, but not all the elements of set P. Specifically, set S does not contain the elements 4 and 10. Hence, it is a proper subset of P. In this video, we learned about proper and improper subsets. Proper subsets contain some, but not all, 
the elements of the superset. Improper subsets contain all the elements of the superset. Now, are you ready for a challenge? How many improper subsets does a set have? 